Hi everyone. So we'll be continuing our discussion about treatment of oral habits. So today we'll be discussing those oral habits that were left. So it's a part two of the same video. Now, uh, nail biting, also known as onychophagia. So the major treatment of this nail biting habit revolves around stress management the main reason we all uh, i i am sure can relate to it that uh, the moment one uh, tends to be under pressure or under stress uh, he or she starts biting their nails and it's not just evident in children instead it's even more evident as you grow and become into adults so uh, you mainly have to uh, work around stress management you have to see what causes you stress you have to see in what situation does this thing or this urge of biting one's nail arrives so that is one thing now when you work around managing your stress uh, these nail caps sort of a thing as you can see on the screen will function as a reminder that means when you have that urge in the situation of stress of biting your nail obviously when you have those nail caps on uh, even if you want to you'll be reminded and then you'll stop yourself so these nail caps uh, can be custom made with uh, any fabric or it can even be uh, bought from stores these are silicone made in material so any which ways whichever way you can uh, have them customized you can get them or you can either buy them from stores then a very important uh, oral habit that we discussed in our previous video uh, in fact previous to previous video was bruxism so in that video I had just told you about what bruxism actually means so that's basically gnashing grinding or clenching your teeth now that happens because of multiple reason and obviously the treatment will revolve around the reason so we first need to understand the reason behind a patient uh, or a child uh, continuously clenching or gnashing or grinding their teeth so uh, the most common reason is that there can be some tooth related problem that means there can be uh, some high restoration that means there can be some filling that was done which feels quite high and because of which you are having that tendency of you know rubbing it against uh, so that you are trying to uh, make it to the normal point so that can be one reason another tooth related reason can be uh, there can be some occlusal interference that means while you're closing your mouth and you're bringing your upper and lower teeth in contact there is some interference that is occurring and that is where you're trying to uh, grind it away and developing this habit of bruxism so if that is the reason then obviously you need to have some dental intervention you need to have your dentist intervene and get it corrected in case of high restoration or occlusal interference then if the case is uh, let's say because of any nutritional deficiency so one needs to identify that a doctor needs to deeply listen to what the patient is saying what the or, or the child rather in that case or uh, what the overall um, dietary intake of that person is and see if there's any particular macro or micronutrient deficiency then one needs to nourish that person with that particular thing then it can also be because of allergy so yes one needs to find out what that person is allergic to because of which you know the sudden reaction comes of gnashing or grinding their teeth in that case ob as obvious one needs to withhold that thing or prevent taking that particular uh, food item if he or she is allergic to or prevent the um, uh, you know uh, prevent uh, getting in contact to that particular thing uh, if you're allergic to that thing then uh, bruxism is also a symptom in case of several personality disorders and even in case of um, uh, you know uh, cerebral palsy so in case of uh, any personality disorder or stress one needs to um, get oneself uh, counseled uh, basically a psychiatric counseling needs to be done and see that what the problem is and try to resolve it that ways then um, if the there is something called a cerebral palsy because bruxism is also a symptom of cerebral palsy then in that case obviously you need proper neurological medication with uh, from your neurologist so then again that is required 
then again if it's exclusively because of stress then yes stress management as i've already mentioned before uh, in case of nail biting habit one needs to work around stress and do things that will resolve stress like do yoga do you know what makes you happy if it is talking to your friends or your family spend quality time with yourself or your family meditate you know gardening is also a very good stress buster baking is also a very good stress buster so basically whichever thing relieves you from your stress try doing that and work around the stress then uh, it can also be because of some intestinal parasitic infestation then in that case also uh, bruxism can occur so either of these reasons uh, one needs to look for the reason of child representing bruxism and then uh, treat or work around that particular cause and that will uh, for sure treat the uh, habit of bruxism that's it uh, i hope you found it helpful and you found it um, interesting and easy most importantly uh, Till then, I shall come up with something new and uh, enlighten you with something new which I know. That's all for now. Take care. Thank you.